let's uh, preview our movie again. Let's rewind and play. Now, you may notice that our animation looks pretty jumpy. Since it's only using a few frames to get from the point where it hits the table to the spot where it is above the net. Actually, it probably all seems quite jumpy to you since this video is only recorded at 5 frames per second. But it's particularly jumpy um, in those last, uh, that last part of our animation where it's going from the, uh, from the ping pong table to above the net. Um, of course, this makes sense because, here, let's stop this animation. Of course, it makes sense uh, because it's using fewer frames to get from this point to this point, so it's not as smooth uh, an animation naturally. But uh, we can make it smoother by extending our sprite. If we make the length of our sprite span longer, it'll add more intervening frames here so that it will look smoother. So we can do this by opening our score here, or bringing it to the 4, and selecting our last uh, keyframe of our animation, and just dragging it to the left. Let's drag it all the way out to, to 80, let's say. All right. <clears throat> now, of course, if we extend our ball sprite, we also need to extend our board sprite, because if you look here at the end of our animation, if we look on our stage, there's no background. So we need to extend both of these sprites. And there is a function in Director that allows us to extend both of the sprites at the same time. So um, let's do that. Let's uh, get rid of this extending the sprite that we did before. Undo it by clicking Unedit and Undo Score. That sends it back. Now it's back where it was. Now we can extend both at the same time by selecting one, holding down the Shift key, selecting the other. Now we position our playback head at the point where we want our sprites to be extended to. Okay. We click Modify, and we click on Extend Sprite. That will extend both of those sprites to the 60th frame. Voila. And that's a useful thing if you have a lot of sprites on your score and you're trying to rearrange them and everything. It's a useful um, tool. Um, now, this has added frames uh, to our background sprite and to our ball sprite. And this makes our animation appear smoother. Um, we can preview this. Let's rewind. Press play. And it's a you know a smoother appearing animation, especially as it leaves the uh, ping pong table. Um, and the reason why is that this uh, adds frames. For instance, if we compare this spot between uh, our middle keyframe and our end keyframe, before there were only four uh, frames between there. Now there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in between there. So uh, naturally, it's going to appear um, smoother.